Okay guys, here in this scene, someone's car was in an accident and it caught fire and I learned to find out the person lost their life. Mm -hmm. So rest in peace. Hi guys, my camera is tilted. Guys, I brought to you yesterday how to get, how to order and what you put in the lemon meringue pie drink. Um, every Starbucks I go to, I am in South Carolina, I'm in Columbia, South Carolina today. And I just came to the drive-thru and I ordered the same thing that I put on Instagram yesterday. Well, everybody was like, what? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all the ingredients that you need for this drink. But the cool thing, this is what you do. I want a Trenti because it's so good, but I couldn't get a Trenti because... I needed this type of lid for the extra whipped cream. So this is what you do. You're gonna remove your lid. My son back there, he has one. And what you wanna do, you're gonna have to really stir and stir and stir. I mean, this is probably only part of, oops. I do have a spoon. It's so good, guys. I'm trying to get it to stir good. But as you stir, the whipped cream will go down and it'll turn like a form. And I don't have it all stirred because, but in the bottom, if you can see, it has turned from that liquid and it is forming all together. These people looking at me, y'all, but I don't care, it's so good. So the reason why you want to get it not in the Trenti, but you can get it in the Trenti if you tell them um, to put your whipped cream in a separate cup, then it will work. And I didn't think about that. So when you stir it and stir, now it has came from a liquid lemonade to like a frost. Guys, so good. And the reason why you don't have to add the pump of peppermint, I do because I like the burst of the refreshing part to it. So my son is drinking it back there. What do you think, son? <laughs> um, they they did a a little mess up. It was no biggie. Um, he missed and put ice in and I told him no ice. Well, it wasn't no biggie. He went in and I got to talk to him because um, the beginning I went through the drive-thru. Oh, my son is shocked. He's shocked, guys. Tay, put your head on this side for a second. Tell him what you think it tastes like. It tastes like lemon meringue pie with the peppermint on top. Guys, this drink is the bomb. Starbucks, if you see this video, your girl, Viology Vandessa from Georgia invented this drink. I have the workers actually making this drink to taste it for themselves. I did post this drink on Instagram on yesterday, but I want to show you all with the ingredients. I will tell you what the ingredients. The ingredients is, if you're getting a, I'm watching the road. If you are getting this drink and you are getting a grande, I'm gonna tell you your ingredients for the grande. For the grande, you want three Splendas, no ice. You want whipped cream on the top and bottom and lemonade. That is what you want. And if you want to do the splash of peppermint, which is absolutely so good inside, do a splash of peppermint, a pump of peppermint. If you are getting, my phone is falling, guys. Uh, if you are getting this in Venti, sorry, Trenti. That's what I have, Trenti. If you're getting this in Trenti, what you need is the lemonade, four splendors, no ice, a pump of peppermint, and also you want the whipped cream on the top and the bottom. 
And once again, if you choose, a pump of peppermint. Now, this is the twist. With this drink, as large as you want, if you want to go to the Trinity, the, what makes the difference is the Splenda. After you do that, remove your lid and you have to stir it up real good. Stir it to the point that all of your whipped cream is gone. And your drink is going to turn from the liquid look to a thick, creamy look. Guys, it is everything. And this is my personal make and a secret recipe item that I put together for Starbucks. So guys, um, Starbucks, of course, if you hear me, you see me, you see my video. This is a drink that I invented and your workers from Georgia area to Columbia, South Carolina, every time I go into them, absolutely love this drink. My son now is a test to it. It tastes like a lemon meringue pie. Guys, the drink is so good. It is so good. So, uh, it's just like you don't want to drink too much of it because it'll be all gone. Ooh, it gives you that praise dancing. But anyway, guys, um, I wanted to bring you this drink. I showed y'all on Instagram yesterday, but I want to show you exactly what you add into it. Also, how you do it to make sure all your flavorings through the whole entire drink will taste just like a lemon meringue pie with a splash of peppermint. So guys, I am getting off here. I'm in traffic. I got to get to a doctor's appointment to get back to Georgia. So guys, um, please like, comment, share my video, thumbs up my video, and try the drink. If you try this drink, guys, please let me know. Instagram, or take a picture of it. Tell me what you think it tastes like. That's all I ask, guys. This drink is everything. It's everything. It is absolutely so refreshing. Okay, guys, so while I was in Columbia, I decided to stop at Ross Department Store. And guys, this store is fully equipped like absolutely nothing happened. Well, this pineapple I did see in my store in Georgia, but this cross was absolutely so beautiful. So it was a lots of items that I have not seen and between the two Ross in my area, there are no way to be seen. So that eat, I did see at one of my stores. But other than that, um, it's one or two other items that I did see in my store, which was this one. Um, and our store, they're $19.99. I pick it up, but I decide, no, I'm not gonna purchase it. And I did see this basket. In the middle, I tap it, and it's glass. So, um, very unique. That was absolutely beautiful. And of course, girl, you know I am that green queen. So I did look at this, but I was like, no, I'm not going to purchase it because I have no way to put it. So I did go in the laundry area to look for a laundry basket and can for my children's bathroom, which you will see that upload coming up one day this weekend. And I thought these was absolutely so cute. And this desk, guys, this desk. Mm. And then look at the chair. I pick up the chair, it's a little bit too light. And this is the green one. And what a cute coffee table. So, um, guys, yes, this is my little trip in Ross. But, guys, if you go to Ross, now after the quarantine, I decide to stop over to the clothing department. So, I do have a clothing haul with some high-end name brands. Yes. So, guys, I wanted just to stop you in, show you what was in Ross in Columbia, South Carolina on Two Notch Road, 
So guys, I'm gonna let you continue watching. Look at that cloud. It look like a pork chop. You gotta be hungry. I ain't gotta be hungry because it look like no pork chop. Yeah, you do. But just hungry. think about it. Oh, look at that. That pork chop right there. And that's some rice. And look at that. That look like some sweet peas. Well, that cloud look like a armadillo. What are you talking about? Oh, hell shit. So I did not know when they say six feet, it literally meant the automobiles too. So guys, I'm getting off of here because I got to drive, okay? So guys, like I always say, oh God, it's steady bouncing. Like I always say, I gotta go, but I will be back. And until the next time guys, video drop at five o'clock. Bye.